This week will mark three years since the COVID-19 pandemic was declared a global health emergency. Today, the virus's risk is diminished, but Washington virology experts tell King 5 the next viral outbreak could happen soon, and they're not waiting around for it to happen. King 5's Farah Jadrin is in Seattle. Farah, studying viruses to handle future outbreaks is happening right here in Seattle. Yeah, just a few floors up from here off West anyway. Researchers are hard at work inside a lab in PATH. Now, as COVID-19 still causes some infections and even some deaths, other viruses are lurking with the potential to spark the world's next outbreak. I could tell you that it's not going to happen soon, but it's more than likely that we're going to have another epidemic that could become a pandemic. Linda Vensel, director of epidemic and preparedness response program at PATH in Seattle, says it is possible for the U.S. and other countries to be better prepared for the next pandemic, starting with strengthening labs and contact tracing. Making sure that there's the right funding and the right stockpiles of vaccines and diagnostics available, because if you don't have that, then you're kind of running blind on what the actual situation is. PATH and the WSUG Allen School for Global Healthcare were already looking at the World Health Organization's list of emerging viruses. To name a few, Nipah, Ebola, and Crimean Congo fever. What do they have in common? They're all spread from animals or insects to humans. We're doing a study now of the different viruses that are passed along by bats and other animals, and we're just touching the surface of how many different viruses are carried by bats and they migrate all over the world. With climate change, there's a lot of people that are going and looking for food in areas that they didn't before. We're really rapidly expanding into the natural world around us. And as we do that, we come into contact more and more frequently with wildlife that we never really would have had a chance to come into contact with before. Assistant Professor Michael Letko and a team at Wazoo have been working on a two-year study showing how viruses related to SARS look and how they can grow in culture. The first step that we would need if we would uh, want to develop a vaccine for these types of viruses. Working closely with communities in sub-Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia, PATH aims to put the best outbreak prevention resources in countries that need it most, places that were most vulnerable at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. If you look at the Ebola outbreaks that have occurred in DRC, they become smaller and smaller over time because well, now we have a vaccine that we've developed and we also have very good rapport with the community. Local health experts view the world's next virus outbreak as inevitable. Learning from the COVID-19 pandemic will make the difference in saving the lives of millions of people. And while working with its global hubs, PATH discovered uh, an even more dire need beyond increasing vaccine education and contact tracing methods. The need for bleach to clean hospitals and disinfect water. So PATH created a portable machine that will convert water and salt into bleach, making it now one of the many tools used to fight the spread of a virus. Live in Seattle, Farah Jadrin, King 5 News.